Hey everybody, it's Peter from Bamford Kia, and today we're talking used cars. This one is stock number NI229A. It's a 2018 Kia Sorento EX. It's a very nice car. Let's go take a look. All right, 2018 Kia Sorento EX. Now, this is the V6 model, which matters because the 2021 model that's coming out will not have a V6. This car is capable of towing 5,000 pounds, and they won't be able to do that anymore moving forward. So this is actually a very good car. It's got a lot of technology in here. We'll get to that in a second. But here's the projector beam headlights, high beams and low beams, fog lights. Nice looking dash. This is one of my, or dash, nice looking grill. This is one of my favorite grills on this car. Come back here. We'll give you the view of the passenger side and we'll zoom in to the front wheels here. You can see this is sort of a 10 spoke wheel. There's some dark spokes and some silver spokes. And I think it looks pretty cool too. It looks a little more sporty. All wheel drive FE is what that little badge said down right around there. FE is the fuel efficient version of this car. So it's the all wheel drive V6, but the lighter weight version compared to the, say the SX or something like that. And uh, no panoramic sunroof, which saves some weight, uh, which makes it a little bit more fuel efficient. You've got an EX V6 badge there. You've got the trailer uh, uh, hitch and wiring down there. So like I said, you're capable of towing 5,000 pounds of this car. Roof rails up top. We're gonna take a look at this side view in a second, in a second. But uh, let me just jump over here. See the little button on the door? That means you have a push button start, keyless entry. You just keep the key in your pocket and you tap that button, the door unlocks. Now, check out this interior here. One thing I wanna show you here, some of the best seats we have in any of our vehicles are right here. Look at out there in the front of the seat. You can press this button here and it extends out. So whether you're taller or shorter, if you're sharing this vehicle with anybody, you can get comfortable. You can extend and shrink down the seat. And of course, telescopic and tilt steering wheel. You've got the lumbar adjustment that's not just in and out, but also you can move the lumbar up and down. Again, you can find the perfect seating position in this car. Hopping in for a sec, we're gonna turn the vehicle to the on position, but not quite start it because we are indoors. So there's the start stop button right there. Check out the dash here, that center display. That is legitimately a center display. It looks really, really sharp. The whole thing is a screen and it just gives you all kinds of information. We'll change that service. Uh, Required there. Don't worry about fuel efficiency. That's uh, we reset it obviously and idled the car for a couple minutes, so uh, nowhere near that. Left side tack, right side uh, uh, fuel gauge and temperature gauge. In the center, you got the speedometer and that multi information display. We'll talk about that information display in a second, but first we're going to go over here. Now, when I talked about uh, the V6 being a really special thing, this area here is also very special. This is one of our best uh, systems in my mind of what we have. So you've got um, the AM FM stereo system, you've also got the uh, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity, but you also have CD players here. Now, let me just make sure AM FM, I believe. Yes, just AM FM. I wasn't sure if there was satellite radio or, or not in this car, and it's not, so we'll just turn that off for a second, go back to there. Anyways, you have Android Auto, you have Apple CarPlay, you have a CD player, you can play music through your... Um, uh, uh, digital devices as well. You can save MP3 files on your own CD. So kind of a cool system there. Down here, you have a climate control system. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit this climate button right there. And you can see we've got a dual zone climate control system. So you can customize the left side and right side uh, passengers up front, make them comfortable. And speaking of left side and right side out front, let's make them, let's make them really comfortable with rump roasters, three levels of heated seats and a heated steering wheel. So very nice feature there. This little uh, door right here, flip that up. And you can see you've got 12 volt port, a USB port, another 12 volt port. So that's the cigarette lighter type port. That USB port is where you're gonna plug in for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And the best thing is you can hide that wire with your phone down there and you've got most of your phone uh, features right up there. We're gonna go wide angle for a second as we take a look around the car. Take a look around. One thing I love here, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but that little panel there wraps all the way around the front of the car. So it's kind of a cool, uh, System. It's hard to show on camera. It'll, you'll see it when you hop in the car. Leather seats here. They've got perforations. It's sort of the design detail. Soft touch everywhere. So your elbow sits really soft uh, touch on there. You've got an armrest in the center of the vehicle as well, right in the bottom of the screen there. And uh, it's nice and comfortable. Let's take a look around. This is the seven passenger model. I've got all the seats up right now. So that's going to rob you of a little bit of trunk space when you have them up. But if you are someone like a parent or you've got kids to take around, you've got the latch systems in the seats there. So you can really fit uh, child seats safely and comfortably. Uh, of course, that seven passenger, uh, two seats in the back there, give a little extra room and a lot of practicality. Coming along here all the way back to the steering wheel. Just going to take a look around as we get back there. I'm going to zoom back in again as we do that. You can see what we've got here. Cruise control, of course, on the far right side. Remember that information display panel we talked about in the center of your dash? 
All of that is controlled from your fingertips right here. Super easy to control. There's a whole bunch of functions in there. Uh, really easy to control, really easy to go through. You can see a lot, learn a lot. Over here, Bluetooth and the audio controls. You've got automatic headlights, including the automatic uh, fog lights that come on with your headlights there. So just leave them to automatic. They turn on automatically. And again, like I said, if you've got kids in the car and you're distracted, you don't have to worry about turning your headlights on and off. Blind spot detection, another super good feature. What I like about the blind spot detection is, of course, it warns people in your blind spot. But if you throw this car in reverse and check out this super clear backup camera, you throw the car in reverse and somebody's walking from this side or walking from that side or driving from either side. Uh, even if you can't see them from the driver's door, you can get warned of people uh, coming or vehicles or people coming this way or that way. It just gives you a little bit extra safety uh, when you're uh, backing up. So uh, you can warn them, it can warn you of things you can't see. And the other thing it's got, well, speaking of backing up, scroll all the way down here. You've got your parking sensors as well. So the backup beepers, if there's a little, let's say, a, I always say kids things like a tricycle. I drove over my kid's uh, scooter once because I didn't have a backup camera and I didn't have things. So those kind of things will be activated by the beeper. You'll see them in the camera. And again, rear cross traffic alert will act, will warn you of people or vehicles coming from one side or the other. Memory seats here as well. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Let's help out of the car. As we do that, I'm going to show you what the key fob looks like. Key fob looks just like this. Lock, unlock, and you've got hold button there. What we're going to do is hit the hold button for a second and you can see what's happening there. That is a powered tailgate. Super convenient for you. All right, like I said, I'm going to leave the seats up for now just because uh, you can imagine the trunk space in here is immense when the seats are down. But again, if you're taking family around, easy to fit them in there. You do have a little bit of underfloor storage space here as well. If you want to see the seats fold down, you know what you should do? Come see this car in person. It's a great uh, vehicle. Over there on the right side, there's a 12 volt port as well. To shut the trunk, you just hit the button right here, or you can hit the one on the key fob. Lots of ways to do it. If you're interested in this vehicle or any, or any vehicle just like it, feel free to give us a call. This one's the phone number is 519-304-6542, or you can reach us online, www.brandfordkia.ca. The easiest way to reach us is just click that link in the description. That'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks, everybody, for watching.